Salam and peace. Welcome to Dawa Dude. <clears throat> Inshallah, today I'd like to share a very um, um, interesting um, video clip from the Muslim Lantern. Uh, this is the channel name. Uh, I would suggest you to subscribe to that. And uh, very interesting uh, conversation between uh, Muhammad Ali and the uh, uh, other Christian brother. And um, as you know, that like as a Muslim, we have our creed, we have a shahada, you know, when we say, uh, and none has the right to be worshipped by Allah alone. And after that, we have to pray five times and do the fasting to think basic thing and basic theology we have. And if you make sin or mistake, we repent to Allah. And that's basically, this is the journey in Islam, you know. So the whole life you will do good deeds. If you make mistake, you repent. And now in Christianity, when they say, once you accept Jesus, your Lord and Savior, then you are all done deal, you know. God loved the world so much, he gave you only son. Whoever believe in, well, will never perish, you know, something like that. They have this, like their the creed. But the um, Muslim um, lantern, uh, brother uh, Muhammad Ali, uh, explained this. This is not simple, the Christian are telling us, you know, that's not a simple way that just to believe in Jesus will work. No, once you believe in Jesus, you are no longer able to, you're not required to do any sin. This is the main important thing in Christianity that many Christians do not know. So let me play this video clip and uh, Brother Muhammad Ali explains to this and the other Christian brother has no answer to that actually. So let's watch that. That's the very interesting and we can use this also uh, whenever we go out for Dawa uh, purpose. And this will be basically our polish your Dawa James session and uh, that will you polish your uh, Dawa points actually. <clears throat> and if you have not subscribed my channel to, again, the Dawa Dude is my channel. So you please subscribe that, share and leave a comment if you like to uh, um, to know more about some other topics so let me know and put your comment and if any Christian is watching this I like that if you can uh, respond to this uh, Muhammad Ali uh, the explanation uh, or you want to debunk his uh, claim that the Christian uh, cannot use this uh, only uh, and this, 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 this is the salvation uh, a statement that they once you believe in Jesus die for your sin and you don't have to do uh, you, you can continue to do sin and everything and you will still be uh, able to make to the, uh, the you will achieve the salvation so let me play that okay Bible? Do you have the Bible with you? I've got the Bible on me, yeah. Okay, open first Ephesians. John. I have the reference already. Open first John. Yeah, I was just gonna say if you look at Ephesians two, verse eight through ten. Let's let's stick with that, that first before we go to the other references. Okay. First John, what what uh chapter what verse? Yes, let's read from four. One four. I'll I'll, I'll read it actually, okay? First epistle of John, first John. Chapter 3, verse 4, okay? Chapter 3, okay. Verse 4. I'll, I'll read it, okay? Right. You, can, you can follow along with me, starting from verse 4, okay? Yep. Uh, you can read the verses before if you like. It, they, they don't change anything. From verse 4, it says, Everyone who sins breaks the law. In fact, sin is lawliness. But you know that he appeared so that he may take away our sins. Okay? So it's talking about what Jesus came to do, what we were just discussing. So he may uh, take away our sins. And in him, there is no sin. All right. Mm -hmm. Then it says, no one who lives in him keep on, keeps on sinning. Mm -hmm. No one who continues to sin, look at the wording, has either seen him or known him. It explicitly mm. says that anyone, well, not only that, let me even tell you more. I'll tell you why it says that there is no true Christians at all existing, according to this verse. Then it says, right. dear children, do not let anyone deceive you or lead you astray. You see? The one who does right is righteous, just as he is righteous. And the one that does sin, sin is uh, of the devil, because the mm -hmm. devil have been sinning from the beginning. 
and the son of man was uh, uh, appeared to destroy the devil's work no one who is born of god will continue to sin look 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 it cannot get more explicit than this so if you are born of god as you claim you will never continue to sin no one who is born of god will continue to sin because god's seed, seeds remains in them look so that is the, that is what it says they cannot go on sinning because they have been born of god this is how we know look this is the most important part here that explicitly shows that all christians are fake according to this verse this is how we know who are the children of God and who are the children of the devil. Mm. Okay? So Anyone who does not right, who, who does not do right is not God's child and, and, and not the brother and the sister, etc. All of that. Now, it cannot be more explicit and clear than this. That the scripture is, that's, that's the point, the argument I was making. Is whoever claims they actually believes in Jesus, he cannot con continue to sin. And that is a failed theology because everyone will sin. Everyone will continue in sinning. That is the fact. So according to this verse, all of Christians are children of the devil and none of them are true believers. They don't have Jesus in them. They, don't have, they have not known Jesus and they don't have the seed of God in them. Now you can read the context all you like from beginning to end, left and right, but you will see that the verse is explicit, clear, giving you the argument. Mm. Well, it... it, it poses two problems for you um for first, me you know, <laughs> All right, go ahead <laughs> you spent a while talking about how christians have the free and easy pass and yet these are very strong words that warn against sin so this is from the bible so no one that's reading this passage is going to be behaving in the way that you described before going to the club doing whatever they want and then secondly okay you know, no wait before before i respond to the first uh, point very quickly right. i was talking what christians are doing and the reality yeah. is christians are not following this nobody is following this verse so because it is unrealistic saying that no one is going to continue to say that everyone will continue to say so that's not a problem for me in any way what i said was accurate because the, the christians continue to uh, to make sense so they take the easy way out and they ignore these verses 